Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die Presents The Grimstone Chronicles Season 2 Episode 7 I am your host but not the DM because Adam is a good boy <laughs> Best uh, boy! <laughs> Wait a sec <laughs> I came uh, wrong <laughs> Uh, th thanks for, uh, we're supposed to transfer over this week, but Marty's in the middle of uh, purchasing a home plus negotiating, uh, like, current apartment, and, ah, uh, it, it's, yeah, I've got too much stuff on the go, plus, plus the work has been, uh, pretty, uh, spiky in the last, uh, in the last few days, so, well, actually the last few weeks, yeah, so I will take over, I think, after this week. Uh, and maybe we'll switch to some northern uh, group action. But for now, we continue the war plot. So I appreciate it. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, no worries. Thank uh, you, Adam. <laughs> Thanks, Monkey Adam. Don't fucking kill us. No, I tried. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, you, you did, you son of a bitch. <laughs> no, to be fair... There was a whole forest road behind you guys. You could have started oh, running down. <laughs> that whole thing, I was like, I figured they'd like keep juke off into the woods. And like in my head, there was like, yeah, it was one of those like the party's like, fucking army's coming. All right. And then your scout, your guys on watch, they rolled like ones on their perception checks. Yeah, and one and two. Not stealthy at all. And it, just look at their shoes. It <laughs> so. was when you're like two rounds away. Yeah. It was like no, we're in we're in the fight now. Like this, it, we're, it, we're fighting. It, it, I, it's like also it's like Chaga, right? Like I'm a big guy in heavy armor. If I die, I'm not dying running. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't run. The bear comes. I punch the bear as hard as I can because that's my option. <laughs> yep. I think we did, I think we did a good thing. Now we run. Now we know there's ten thousand of them, and there's more of those uh, those orc alchemists. Hundred thousand. Yeah. Well, the al alchemists hopefully not a hundred thousand, but hopefully um, enough alchemists well. to destroy the world. <laughs> no, there, there were ten thousand goblins in that city. You didn't there say. Was, a, I didn't say a hundred. Okay. No, ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yeah. Well, we can take those. There, there was no. in addition <laughs> a a not insignificant number of. Very big giants. Troop of giants? Yeah, I, said... I think I I missed. Were they frost giants or? It's either cloud or? No, or, uh... no, 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 bigger, bigger mark. They oh were crap! Big. They were cloud yeah, or oh, storm crap. giants. All right. Think twenty-five All right. foot tall giant. Yeah. Okay. We're... <laughs> this is the reason why, Mark, why we decided we're gonna we're gonna like run. run. It's time <laughs> for us. To get, it's time for us to get out of here. No, you you see twenty-five foot tall giants. Mm -hmm. yeah, Plural. yeah, you, you yeah. run away. You run away. <laughs> Don't worry. If you had a knowledge guy, you'd go, oh, I know that mercenary company. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you're, you, it's it's interesting that the dichotomy between like uh, a party, like running a group where they have a strong knowledge person and a group where they don't. Because when they don't, it's like, you don't need to prepare as much lore. You still need to have it, but you don't have to have it as fleshed out because... It ends up all being just... It goes by the wayside. It's it like, I guess you're attacking the random people. <laughs> there's there's this guy, and he's got this scar. Why don't we scar. do a quick oh. recap before uh, before my food comes? Um, I'm just checking my volume. How am I doing with volume compared to the other guys? Am I'm checking right now. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, last game was called Fire Burns. <laughs> It's such a stupid phrase. Of course it does. <laughs> uh, in the morning, following the retreat from Fey and Far, Chaga communicates with General Aubryn via sending spell. Before they can break camp, goblinoid forces march upon them, over a thousand strong, backed by a terrible unit of hobgoblin alchemists. The Steel Rose squad digs in and makes a valiant stand against the horde. Meanwhile, in Fey and Far, thousands and thousands of goblins pour through the gates of the Iron Tower. Um, and then more specifically, we captured one of the alchemists. We butchered any goblin that remained uh, alive on the field. And um, uh, we are going to head back towards... I think we want to go back to, to, to Fort Manius because I think that's where most of the... Um, uh, most of the, like, merchants and things yep. ended up. Um uh, but like the safety of that first fort is 
basically um, what we're what we're heading towards right now. I forget the fort's name. Um, uh, Cerberus. Uh, yes, the one we passed by on our way here. Yeah. So we're booking down the road, um, and at some point when we take a break, I think we are going to slide into the head of this uh, hobgoblin alchemist. And then if we get a full night's rest, then we will send another sending to the general and let her know what our plans are. I've already typed up what the sending is in correspondence and divinations. Cool. Uh, but we'll get to that point when we get there. And just a heads right. up, I have some food headed this way, so if I disappear quickly, that's me going to grab dinner. Cool. The Basically. other heads up being that I thought we were going to start after you got the food, so I was planning to take a pee. So at some point, I'm going to disappear as well, because pee-pee time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those things. Especially, we had a plumber in the house, so I didn't have water for most of the day, so all oh, my fluid shit. cycles are off. <laughs> you know, they're all confused. <laughs> uh, Alright, so you, you basically grab your prisoner. Uh, I'm assuming Mort is dragging him, or do you have somebody else uh, carrying... Uh, Kev, Kev, yeah, can, he can switch with Kev if he wants. Mort's, Kev's pretty strong, too. Not a strong, but strong. M Mort's got, like, his... You have endurance, right? He has endurance, and he's got mule back cords, and he's large, and yeah, he's stronger. He's just, just let him do it. He, he, I don't even think it puts him in, like, the medium category. It's like he's he's a knapsack. <laughs> Well, Kev's, Kev's already got a piece of the guy, or one of the alchemists. Okay, More okay. to wear him like a fanny pack. Um, actually, before we go, Adam, can can Kev take a sec to try to absorb the stuff on the side? Sure. Um, please. Uh, give me a give me a, a I believe it's a Constitution check. It's a level check. Level check. It's a level. Yeah. The DC for, my... the DC for absorbing a particular person it's is... 10 plus the level of the character. And then it's my caster level plus my charisma. Okay. So 9 D plus... DC's, DC's 14. 14. Okay. Who are you absorbing? One of the alchemists. 20. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have a hobgoblin alchemist form um the uh the hobgoblin alchemist uh is going to grant a special power obviously um these alchemists specialize in acid so plus one dc with acid type spells plus one uh like cash level with acid spells I don't know if you have any, cool. but DCs and cash levels probably pretty pretty much a good power, um, along with that of being a hobgoblin. Um, if you're looking for a token for that, you could probably use this hobgoblin alchemist here. Otherwise, you get somebody cut up yeah, the individual to get you an individual. Yeah, yeah I did that. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. that. I, I appreciate it. It, look, it looks good. Um, all right. Um, you, 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 you could take pick... the you could take the DM out of the chair, but you can't take the chair out of the DM. Wait, how does that? You, you, <laughs> well, you in a stool, man. Get the, wait, rid of the wait, need a new chair. Yeah, needs a new chair. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you can to be like, what happened here? <laughs> I sat on it wrong. <laughs> uh, um, Adam, could I also grab a uh, hob fighter? One of the red guys. The red guys. Uh, one of the knights. The, or... the one of the guys oh, the, that was the, like, the heavy yeah. warriors. Sure, yeah. you can grab a piece of. You can grab as many samples of hobgoblins as you would like. All right, yep. I'll, so... I'll, I'll create a token for that one too, if you want. Uh, fourteen. Okay, yeah, you you can. Yep. Well, I rolled a one. I rolled a one. I don't know if one does anything for this. It's a check, as far as I know, unless somebody tells me otherwise. Yeah. I'll... You... If it fails, I'll just do it again. Oh, I made it. You know, you, it, it, it doesn't fail. The, the individual, it, what makes them tough is not their, like, you're not turning into a mob. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Uh, the individuals that constitute the troop are not that powerful. Yeah. Uh, I actually, I want to collect uh, some of their gear as well. 
Okay. Not a lot, just like you know, like one of their their spears and and like you know, chest plate or whatever. Okay, non masterwork breastplate. Uh, you end up with a a a, uh, a bow, um, strength fourteen, uh, as well as a uh, uh, spear and a shield. Alchemist gear. Uh, alchemist gear. Uh, the uh, yeah, you can grab the alchemist gear. They they had um, uh, was Just chain, basic alchemist gear. Yeah, it was it was chain shirts, alchemy alchemy book, like a basic alchemy kit, uh, and then a bunch of acid and, and uh, fire alchemist fire flasks. Uh, and then they had like ammunition and it's, things. Uh, like, boom. <laughs> so I, I have a skill in in making disguises, like to help me. In disguises, so I'm taking the thing that I would need to make that disguise. Yep, exactly. All right, uh, so disguise for. Okay, your your hob heavy infantryman can mm -hmm. wield a spear one handed when holding a shield that is uh, heavy or that is at least light size category. So, so wield spear. So spears, long spears, as long as you have a a, a light uh, spear, a light shield. A light or heavy shield in the other hand. Light, heavy, or tower shield in the other hand, you can wield the spear one-handed. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Thanks, sir. All right. Um, so, uh, people see the... the Witness from afar the horrific trans <laughs> transfiguration of Kev into multiple hobgoblins. No, no, I do this behind a tree. I don't know if... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, now, did that? Did you have to shed any any disguises, or was that? I, I'd already shed. Uh, I had I had one level from eighth that I didn't take, and one from ninth that was still open. Okay, cool. Uh, so you still have yeah. room for one more one more identity when I level. Yep. Okay. Um, you make your way down the road. Um, uh, there's you're, as you're following the road as was it communicated. Um, there's no real need to try to disguise your tracks. It's a road, um, and there probably people are going to understand what happened in the giant pile of destruction that was left behind you. Um, for the um, uh, the bodies, uh, aside from slaying them, uh, I don't know that any special. Uh, Activity was taken, like there was no decapitation or displaying of the thousand or so dead sentients. No, it shouldn't take forever. That should take forever. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the forest of heads takes too long. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's not. It, this is your land, but not that much your land. Uh, <laughs> perfect. Um, okay, so you you make your way traveling. Uh, Ahmed, could you give me a percentile roll just to see if you happen across something uh, dangerous within the woods? Eight. <laughs> of course we do. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, a D6, please. Um, four. four. Yeah. Sorry, who did you ask? I rolled well, a three. You, you, you got it first. So. The one that popped up first was a three. Okay. Yes. Um, along your travels... You come across. Give me a moment. Uh, uh, give me, give me one second. All right. Uh, Give me a perception check, and if you could, you're retreating. I didn't hear anything about stealth, but could you give me a, a, a perception to see how um, well you perceive? Uh, yeah. I, I perk. Oh, shit. What's the. Uh... It's got. Hang on. I perk GCS. So that's our perception checks. Okay. All right. 
when you copy the sod, make sure to copy a copy of thirty or so tokens underneath them. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one moment. I Mark, check out. Uh, it's it's in the Southern campaign. Check out uh, uh, the non-introduced uh, Zogel. All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is clean up this map a little bit. Um, in okay. fact, uh, I'm going to delete the dead on this map. We've got pictures of it and <clears throat> a bunch of memory. So yeah, sure. Yes. Yes. Uh, fire off to the side. Yes. Uh, and let me get this and erase Reno. Oh, I don't want, I don't, I don't like that. All right. Um, <laughs> give, me, give me one second. Uh, this is where you get bit for not respecting the tool chains. So, uh, who, who, Sorry about that. <clears throat> it's all good. Uh, so you were running, uh, you're basically making, uh, with all due haste, you are traveling down the road um, with your prisoner as you're trumpeting along through uh, what would be considered potentially not your territory. Uh, <clears throat> in front of you, you see several travelers. Um, <clears throat> they seem to be refugees from the city. Uh, you, oh, really? <laughs> you, you, you don't do, say! <laughs> you, you do recognize some of them. Uh, it appears to be Rihanna, <clears throat> Rina, and the priest. All right. I'm not getting fooled like I did last time. Arrest them and determine whether or not they are shape changers. <laughs> how, how far ahead are they? Uh, so, what was your perception checks? Um, uh, they were. Sod got a thirty-five. Los is not uh, visible. Capper's looking at his shoes. <laughs> Sulfur thinks things burn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it sounds like uh, so. Desaad, you're the one who saw them first, and you saw them about a hundred feet ahead. Um, they are. It looks like the the, the girl and the uh, and the warrior are helping the old man uh, as they are walking. It appears he is looking a little bit more spry than he was previous. <clears throat> was he healed? Chaga did heal him. <clears throat> yep. And we're just gonna. We're. I'm gonna basically make this uh, map effective, and then I'm gonna go back to cleaning up uh, the giant mess we made with the <laughs> templates because I didn't draw the, the background of the right layer. Hey, I'll, I'll I'll do better next time. Everybody, shh. We'll take a look. I didn't know they got out. Yes. Is it, passing us? If you could um, make sure that they're not shape changes, that would be fine. Mm, sense motive. In fact, we never ran those tests on you, Errol. Given that you were serving a shape changer for who knows how long. I'm not a shape changer. Oh. Uh, let's check that out, Humey. <laughs> right in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> I said be quiet. Uh, okay, you, you, <laughs> you, you punch him. He doesn't like it. He falls down. You have busted his nose. Uh, there's a solid crack. Uh, Chaga goes over the handkerchief and starts collecting some of the blood. At first, it looks like he's helping Errol, but <laughs> once he gets a little bit of blood on the handkerchief, Chaga's now looking at it. <clears throat> oh, leave, leave Errol alone. He's just an old man. It is he, though. An incompetent old man. <clears throat> How was I supposed to know? 
How was I supposed to know? We were there for an hour and found out. Uh, so, the, the people down the road hear the bellowing old man who just got punched in the face. Alright. Um, bitching about being punched in the face. Uh, uh, when Chaga took the dwarf's beard hair, he's going to check the pocket where he put that. Okay. Did it change into uh, something else? No, um, Desaad's got that hair. Desaad cut it and put it in his belt. Mm -hmm. Did it change to something else, though? I guess. Yeah. That's still the question. The beard hair. The one that we took off of the dwarf that was not a dwarf. That was one of those bog, bog, boggle things. Pulls it out. Pulls it He's fishing out for the hair. Okay. Uh, give me a heal check or knowledge nature. Dee Dee will fly over and try to help. Okay. If she can think of non punchy ways to figure out shape changers, then yeah. <laughs> Punch an old man in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just <laughs> breaking noses. So Dee Dee will get a 41 on her heel check. Okay. Um, no, this see, if I, see if I can aid. This is not dwarvish hair. Ooh, uh, I aid. The follicles have changed. And it's a little more bristly. Uh, this didn't come from a dwarf. Excellent. Um, more. Do you want to give Arrow a bit of a haircut? Okay. Hold still. I don't want to scalp you. <laughs> Pulls up with the arrows. A great big dagger. <laughs> just, <laughs> just <laughs> roughly, <laughs> just hacking the hair off. <laughs> so I was like. They can see us right now. You know that, right? Oh, that's fine. They're a shape changer that have got that much balls to stand there in, a, in, in they, the middle of the road. They can teleport. <clears throat> well, then. Well, I guess if they could teleport, they would have done it already. <laughs> we'll go and read their minds, Desaad. Go and greet them. Uh, someone come along with me. Be, a, do, be a good little DG. Hey, dudes. Dukes, uh, come with. I'll come with you. I'll uh, make sure they're not storing any contraband. Capra, uh, keep a couple of arrows notched. I'm going to. Make sure you don't do anything bad to that old man. Oh, he... I haven't done anything bad. What the hell? <laughs> He'd fly like a leaf in the wind. Ch Chug is taking some of the hair and he now doesn't know what to do with it. Does it, Is it changing color at least? <clears throat> no. You've, you've got a the silver locks of a man who took care of... An old man who took care of his hair for several years to grow a mane. Okay. Yeah, Mort, Mort uh, just takes that opportunity, just kind of holds it to his upper lip. What do you think? Should I grow one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you guys invisible or not? Dugan's invisible. Dugan's invisible? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chaga will keep a lock of Errol's hair. Errol has purpose. <laughs> <laughs> the be purpose. It's the iron. He's the whipping boy. Just once a month, we scry on him and just teleport to wherever he is and just cut Give his shit. hair, <laughs> shave him, whatever. <laughs> no, it's it's just the sheer incompetence of <laughs> of what had happened. <clears throat> um. Okay. Okay. So. Are you are y'all trying to The Sod's the Sod's bluffing, he's not threatening at all. Okay. And he's Dug just... Dug Dugan's invisible and silent. Yeah, and Didi's just oh. fluttering up near them. Okay. Uh twenty nine bluff. If they if I have not met them before, it's a thirty three. Okay. I Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Brave Legionnaire, could could you help us? We escaped the the violence. Oh, for certain. I'm Father, glad. I'm glad you guys are able to get away get away from that. Father Nolan is very um, uh, 
very ill. He's he's very much strained himself. Dee Dee is spending time in the trees using her pixie sight to Who able a pixie sight? Constant detect chaos, evil, detect good, and detect law. So she's gonna start with evil. Give me one second. Uh takes three rounds but um <clears throat> okay i believe you are picking up a uh and they are oh no not that one this one uh you're picking up a very faint evil after a period of time Huh. Uh, does it tell me which aura? Give me a second. <clears throat> the power and location of each aura. Are you picking up three faint evil auras? Mm, sense motive on my end. Okay. What do you? What? What? Is, what is the question with which you are sensing the, the question? Going? The question is, um, what are they trying to convince me of? Do, do they need my help, Jeez. or are they trying to hide something? Okay. Mm. <clears throat> okay. What do you get for your sense motive? Yeah, I'm just sorry. It's long sheet. <laughs> <clears throat> like, did I ever pass the skills? <laughs> sense motive. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops. 20 plus uh, 29. Yeah, something's fishy. There's something's fishy. Something's off. Okay. Hey, uh, uh, hold on. I'll get I'll get the guys to come and give us a hand. Hey, uh, Capra and Mort, we, we need your uh, we need your help over here. <laughs> Get him, get get the chair. We can uh, let them sit in it. Okay, so I need a. How hard are you making the message? Well, I'm calling over the killers. <laughs> right. So there's a bluff check for them to. There's a bluff check that they are going to try to. They might, if if they are going to assume there's a problem, that then also Mort and or Capra have to also make the, the sense motive on. Now, your bluff is really, really high, so you can arbitrarily set your DC. So how hard was your lie to figure out? Or did you accidentally trick your friends? Uh, it's fine. 35. I'm, I'm doing my best to make sure these guys don't get it, but I want my friends right next to me. Okay. Uh... Uh, Gra Grackle, Capra, and and, uh, and uh, Mort, why don't you guys come give us a hand? We'll, we'll, uh... Uh, okay, so... You're familiar, so you can add add five to your sense motive. Um, hmm? As in, uh, for basically, Grackle, uh, Grackle, Capra, like you're passing secret Grackle. messages using bluff is the. Oh, so you want a plus four for the sense motive? Uh, I said plus five. I don't. I just... Oh, plus five. Sorry. I, I check in Mort's. Uh... <clears throat> Capra, Capra is coming forward. Mort's <laughs> not really great at the whole snicky. <laughs> okay. 28. 18. Okay, so uh, they all think, like, they all believe that Kev wants help to, but he, what he said wasn't innuendo. It's just he said, like, what he said is, you believe his lie in terms of you think he needs help. So Capra's <laughs> Coming, coming down. He's walking over. He <laughs> decides, like, hey, Capra, why don't you come over here and give us a hand? Yeah, all right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Capra comes forward. Uh, he asks for Mort and Grackle. They can do as they would, but. Mort's, yeah. Mort's like, I'm giving a haircut. Is he blind? <laughs> yeah, Grackle, <laughs> Grackle's. <laughs> You're still like trimming up the edges. Yeah. <laughs> I think you'd look good with one of them mohawkies. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, it is no problem. Uh, decide uh, what is it that you need exactly. Now, these these guys were able to escape. We just want to make sure, you know, check them out and make sure they're safe and all right. Kev, uh, Dee Dee Dugan, uh, they are looking at Crackle with a little bit more interest than the others. <clears throat> Dee Dee's going to cast Detect Charm. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, did you, you cast Detect Evil? Did you cast any other detects? Mm, uh, no, she's going to cast Detect Charm next. Okay, uh, they do not appear to be charmed. Okay, she's going to whisper <clears throat> in Sylvan. Um, if they were fair, they'd be on Sealy. Oh. Uh, uh, Grackle here is, uh, is very experienced doctor. Uh, Grackle, why don't you come and take a look at them? Make sure they're fine. Grackle's a shit doctor. <laughs> I don't understand exactly what the hell you need from me uh, here. I, I, so I think what we're going to... Basically, you've now did an innuendo as a to play doctor. Um, <laughs> DC 20 cents motive. People who can make the DC 20 cents motive understand that Kev is basically initiating violence. So... Mm. DC 20 to be in the surprise round. All right. Uh, Dugan is plus 13 or 14. God damn it! <laughs> plus 5? I'm assuming just the people up front here. Yeah, just the people up front. Yeah. Okay, Dee Dee understands what's going on. She's been around her oh. violent friends long enough to know the, their, when their hackles are up. That ah, shit. <clears throat> 23. Dugan's in on the... Okay. Uh... Let's uh, do a. I think it's a simple uh, they go, we go type initiative. Um, okay. The whoever's your best. I would basically everybody roll a die and whoever wins wins. They get a twelve. Can anybody beat twelve? A Dugan automatically beats twelve. Okay, so you guys go first. <laughs> yeah, Gakko beats the shit out of that too. All right, uh, Dugan. Hold on a second. Booyah, booyah, booyah. He's going he's gonna to bluffing uh, faint all of them. <laughs> what a dick move. Uh, suppose when you only get two two actions. <clears throat> you get two actions, so you can booyah, booyah two of them. All right, I was planning to do this, uh, so he's going to booyah, booyah uh, the girl and the guy. These two. Okay. Okay, well, you can't move and do that. No, no, no. I, I was planning to do this ahead of time. Oh. Like, oh, all right, yeah. all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, situation. So, uh, Baloof check again. Okay, now it's Desaad that we're looking at. All right, Desaad 26. Yeah, they, they were in, there's no way they escaped. Something. Uh, 45 and 37. We're going to look pretty sheepish if we're wrong. <laughs> this turned out to be evil. No. We are going to bury their asses. <laughs> <laughs> no one can ever know. <laughs> Holy water and incense. And... I think Dee Dee is going to try to put at least one of them to sleep. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah. so the two on the left are, are if you saw the bluff, yep. uh, so they're flat freaking footed. Yeah. Um, Until okay. your next turn. Until the end of my next turn. All right. Uh, after Desaad, Dugan, or it's your whole team, basically. Um, Capper didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Dugan's going to move in. He's using his lunge feet and connect blades so he can actually. The connect act. blade. A, a no action? It, it is now a no action. I don't need to... You don't need to, like, summon it. You're just, like... It just... Your hand and it's there. Awesome. It's cool. Yeah. Dugan never has a piece of steak he can't cut again. It's... That's right. His knife hand is powerful. <laughs> 20 uh, plus... Oh, no. Uh, flank. <laughs> so... Oh, not one! Of course. 
That was a warning. <laughs> was a warning across the bow. So, uh, 31, would that have hit the flat-footed? That would have hit the flat-footed. The flanked right. flat-footed. Yeah, the flanked flat-footed. Okay. Uh, I, I got another attack. Uh, move and attack. Oh, that I did move. Yeah, you're right. Okay, sorry. Uh, and then I uh, uh, whip. Grackle. The grackle did not roll enough to. Uh, do you know what's mm-hmm. going on? So technically, grackles. Not, do you have a weapon out? He's always got a weapon out. He's got he's got a quick draw. Okay. Do you have combat reflexes? Yes. Okay. So then, yeah, you threaten. Uh, Didi. Yes, I threaten. All the D- time. DD free action is going to put uh, magic sleepy dust on, on an arrow and fire it at the man in the middle. Fire it at the man in the middle. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, magic sleepy arrow dust. Um, attack. She's going to bard song before that. She's going to use a singing bard song just so she doesn't have to juggle her, uh, her kazoo. <laughs> Which she does have performed song, so she's like, <clears throat> la 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 la. Me, 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 me. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then free action, and then fires her arrow. So she's firing at invisible, assuming they can't see invisible. They cannot. Bard song plus point blank shot plus, uh, one from above. No. And then uh, minus four because she does not have precise shot. AC 33? Yes. All right, the DC of her sleepy dust is 24. No, that is her 10th level DC, 23. Okay. Um, Concentrate. (laughs) Uh, It makes it. Okay. But it, boof. Oh no! Hi. <laughs> yeah. You basically yeah, and, uh, uh All right. Uh, but at the end of the people. Oh, sorry. One of them understood that something bad was happening. Uh, and she is going to defensively turn invisible. Because this is a big pile of duty, is what this is. Um, <laughs> and does defensively turn invisible. Okay. Uh, because how, how dare you attack? How dare you attack us? You're supposed to protect us. Turn invisible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should take them alive and, until we figure out what's wrong with them. Yeah, right. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's uh, a goblin to kill him. <laughs> Get it there. All right, can you turn? <laughs> uh, it's our turn again. Yep. Fuck, take him alive with the. Fuck. <laughs> what is that nonsense? Alive. <laughs> I don't know. Does why. Didi not realize we can speak with the dead? Wait, <laughs> right, right, whole I had to pee thing. I have to yeah. pee. I'll be right back. Okay, go ahead. Right. Didi doesn't want no. to slot. Can I feign someone I can't see? No, I don't think so. Well, okay. I, that, that means... would be my ruling, but it's it's Adam's game, Adam. That means somebody's gonna get two barrels. <laughs> Hey, old man. <laughs> we need to hit them with some non-lethal. I'd like to know why they're evil. Uh, they're witch. There could be something wrong with them, and they're not actually evil. Like there could be something like a worm in their head, or like, like possessed by some demon thing, or. <clears throat> Your characters do a lot of thinking there, Marty. <laughs> uh, you know, it's possible that the old priest of the Five Phase God is evil, but it's it is possible. It is um, absolutely possible. He could be a lawful evil. They they could be evil because they left everyone and ran. They've got one hit die outsiders in their pockets. 
Otherwise, they're just like if they're just evil people and not priests. Uh, uh, did she cast a spell, or or, or was it an ability, or they're bar guests? Well, yeah. You have, <clears throat> Could we you make have a spellcraft to see? Yeah, let's make some spellcrafts to see how she cast a spell. Because we're, we're seeing... right. So spellcraft. There was some theory crafting. <clears throat> I, I heard. Dee Dee's like ma magic. Everyone has magic. <laughs> they did the magic. They did a fairy. Everybody has this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh, God damn it. Be too big. <laughs> uh, sixteen. Magic. They did a magic. They're priests, of course they do magic. They <laughs> did a magic. Any, anybody? Oh yeah, just uh, what's his name? Grapple might know this bull crap. I don't believe it, but he might. Capra. Oh. <laughs> uh. Hey, they must be fairies or something. It wasn't the priest thing. <laughs> Are you a wizard too, lady? <laughs> You need to surrender. Bad things are gonna happen to you. They're the bonus, you idiots. <laughs> Fucking get up, get up. <laughs> <laughs> Two barrels, man. Sergeant said both barrels. All right, I'm who's... a sergeant too. <laughs> Whose turn? Right, it's Kev's turn. Yeah, I was gonna make the guy in front of him. Um. Flat-footed. Well, bluff check. Bluff check. He's check. still flat-footed from before. You could read. He re still bluffing. hasn't even acted. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're gonna just pull a, a gun out, just put it right in his chest and go. Uh, so, what's interesting is um, he did. They did seem a little bit agile on their feet, but hmm. he does seem offset. Like he did get caught by this. Well, he also did the same thing, too. So. He's going to get caught by two <laughs> barrels in the chest. Is what gonna... Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's about to catch two barrels. I'm about to catch both of these barrels. Okay, Bard Song's running from Dee Dee. Yep. She was trying to help her own non-lethal. He's going to shoot an old man. <laughs> <laughs> non-lethal bullets. <laughs> All right. Uh, 18. Also responding to Mark's critique of Dee Dee needs to bard more. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> First thing he ever does would be bard. <laughs> All right, bard, bard. See, this is, my bard is also a bard, but nobody goes, hey, bard, do more bard. Because they're like, no, because they're always party. like, shoot that thing. <laughs> yeah. Shoot the glass. Okay. So, uh, 14, 15, 16. I will heal 12, and bard 12. more and not deviate from that. <laughs> I will play oh. the good support character. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, 29, 27. Take okay. that. You shoot an old man in the middle of the road. Right on. That old man. It's up to you to decide whether or not that's a fair statement about what's going on. You can, it's up to you to decide whether right. or not you choose to decide. 2D6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See how much this hurts. Uh, there is a sneak attack on this. He was flat footed. Ooh, nice. I'm going to kill the guy they're looking for. <laughs> this your friend? Bang! <laughs> oh, it's in a mood tonight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do you have a hard day at work or something? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, 58 damage. <laughs> uh, is that from one attack or two when it comes to massive damage? from two attacks. Okay. Look at those dialogues. Father Nolan representing someone for you right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. Me, Dad. <laughs> anyway, I, I was I was showing my seven. I was trying to help my seven year old prepare for a presentation tomorrow. <laughs> We're killing these people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Father Nolan is still standing. Um, he's got two big massive holes in his chest. Uh, All right. All right. So, was, uh, so action, shoot, <laughs> Rebuff rebuffing. Reloading. <laughs> or is he's re oh, I'm not reloading my gun. I'm buff. I'm uh, doing the bluff check on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're fainting Nolan and the guard this time. Uh, I pulled out a gun and I shot. That's two actions, right? You have one faint. I have one faint left. Yeah, I'm doing Nolan. Okay. Uh, four to five. 
guy, he, yeah, he's like all sorts of confused by your ducking and weaving and the fact that he got oh, shot. In the chest. Did this happen? Uh, <laughs> what what your shot did reveal is that he's wearing armor under his robes. Kind of armor. Uh, I believe it is breastplate. Breastplate. Uh, half plate. Is, is it the same breastplate he Dugan found? No, no. This is like slightly more dwarvish in construction. I call it bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Start pistol whipping him. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Dugan, your Dugan, you go. Uh, part song is going. Who are you attacking? Uh, Father Nolan. Uh, okay. AC 24? Uh, his flat-footed AC is less than that. Uh, wait, did that cre- Did someone fall asleep from Dee Dee's arrow? No, they made their save. It's invisible. <laughs> it's a circle, not a square. Alright, so 96 plus... I'm assuming he can be snuck attack. Uh, Kev snuck him by shooting uh, him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, 51 damage from one hit. All right. Whose uh, spleen are you taking out? <laughs> Nolan. Nolan. Oh, is he flat-footed for everyone? For everyone. Yeah. That is, that is awesome. That is an awesome feat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it took me three feats to get this shit. <laughs> so, he doesn't die from massive damage, but he falls down. Okay. Dugan will accept that. Mm. He will fly ah. to here. And he will give this guard that he can still see a swap to. Uh oh, Dugan's got melee now. He's got multiple attacks for <laughs> That's right. Beware. Uh, uh, he's like uh, holding onto the tree and sort of wincing as. as... <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope they're bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, plus eighteen. There we go. Oh my God! I'm rolling like garbage. Welcome back, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> it wouldn't be Mark without you. <laughs> oh, twenty-one. So he's flanked, but he's not flat-footed. No. He's not flat-footed. Because he has a, he's, not, he's got the thing, so he's not flat-footed. He's very good at being sneaky. You got Bart's on uh, in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what did what did you do? Oh, okay. I, I take that that is a miss then. Yeah. Uh, dexterity check or fall prone and stunned for one round. Wow. <laughs> Oh, you're flying. You can't be. You can't fall. Oh no, he's flying he, with. Uh, flying I'm with wings. flying with wings. It, I can fall. First, first thing is dexterity check. Second dexterity is... check. Yeah, it, you could you could make this. You're you're fast. I got hey. twenty six. There we go. I... He also had a fort save. Uh... Against the AC. Uh, okay, so you uh, you you basically you you fly over and he does have quite a bit of armor and you you basically sort of stab into a shield that was already there. Ah, he's doing a thing. He's doing a thing. Get him. <laughs> uh, Dee Dee. This is the same day as the fight, right? This is like a. This is an hour later. A tour. This is this is the same day as the fight. After you went and inspected the town and you made your way back, you you're about an hour past your your pile of dead bodies. So these people should have been way way further down the road. They should have been okay. right if if they yeah. if they were running for the whole time they're like a day behind where they should be. Yeah, this is their. Oh, we're feeble. <laughs> kind of ambush. <laughs> okay, Dee Dee is going to. Um, how bad does this guy look? Um. Give me a heal check. Never mind. She's just going to cast stabilize as a two action thing. She's going to stabilize Father Nolan. Okay. Um. It seemed like you stabilize him. It seemed like he was already stable. So, but the spell the spell doesn't discharge the way it normally would if somebody was not. They healed, healed dummy. <laughs> oh, okay. She's gonna hit the mercenary guard with a uh, with a sleep arrow. 
All right. Um, she's visibly, and Bard Song 21 becomes 17 AC 20. Okay, you, you rattle, you rattle an arrow off into his armor. Oh, Adam, I, I just realized something. Take two damage, you can take two damage off Father Nolan. I, I should have, I shouldn't have added uh, something I added. Okay. Sorry. Well, it's AC twenty four, but she doesn't have precise shot. So, uh, so all right, does AC <clears throat> does the gap in the middle hit either Dugan or Kev? Does twenty four hit him? Uh, does a twenty four hit him? Oh, yeah. sorry, uh, a twenty four would have hit him. Okay, yeah. so that that's what she got. Okay, uh, yeah, no, so twenty four hits him. Okay. Uh, so it's she got twenty four. And then you d did you take a penalty for precise shot, or are we adding it to his AC? Uh, we can add it to his AC, whichever. Uh, that's what I'm asking. So 28, so she missed, and then right, and it's and it could have hit. Could have hit. Does AC 24 hit Kev or Dugan? No. Uh, well, hold on. Kev's not exactly the nimblest of them all. <laughs> Kev's a buff related. Like he. Buffs uh, yeah, twenty. No, twenty six is his flat. Is his okay? So uh, an arrow whistles yeah. a little close. It, it whistles through dangerously. Yep. <laughs> With a sleepy time arrow. Uh, okay. Sorry, uh, stop moving around. <clears throat> all right. Uh, Grackle. Okay, Grackle's gonna activate um, one of his sashes. Okay. This one lets him use blind fight. He's okay. gonna slash twice in front of him. Okay. Uh, activating a sash is one action or two? One action. The swift. Okay. Hmm. It's a swift. Yeah. It's to spend a, a panache point, but the thing itself has one once per day you can use without any. Oh, if, if it's a swift action item, yeah, it's one action. Okay. So let's attack that guy. Do, 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 do. Is your blade heart seeking? No. Okay, so then there's no sneak attack because you can't see them. There's still mischance. Uh, that might hit. Uh, blind fight is rolled twice, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Percentiles twice. You. I'll take the first one. <laughs> you hit. That. That's. Wait a sec. That's. No. 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 That's your second attack roll. Okay. Now your percentile. Blind, isn't blind fight is you get to roll twice? No, you get to roll your your percentile. concealment twice. Okay. So. We'll, we'll save oh. that for your, your second attack. So, so my second attack is I rolled a one. I got a. Right, it's, not a it's a plus fifteen though. The uh, twenty three would have twenty three have hit. No. Okay. Now percentile for the first one. Roll that twice. That's this one. Roll twice. Okay. It misses and then roll it again. And it hits. No. Okay. The other way around. No, I, I, I crit. I missed on the. On the, on the second attack. Oh, uh, pound. Is it roll? Of... Oh, yeah. It's uh, so uh, oh. miss again. He hit on the first attack. He missed on the second. But, yeah, it's the second one that's a crit miss. So it's a crit miss. miss. It takes one d three strength damage. Okay. You gotta roll three times. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What? Because of the um. Oh no, he didn't re. No, he didn't re up it. He already, it's already passed the end of his turn. Never mind. Uh, I was, uh, for a second there, I thought the uh, the bluff check would have got her AC too low. But... No, no, it wasn't. Uh... Okay, so the uh, there's a uh, nauseated for one round. Nauseated, <sighs> strength damage, and the third condition is dig falls off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make your deck check. <laughs> First is a fort say so let's go in order. Yep. First attack he actually hit. Yes. Yeah. So, so roll, damage on the first roll, attack. Roll damage. Yeah. <laughs> uh <laughs> Well, it's my day, alright. Well she's wounded. one uh, D eight plus twenty eight. Uh, 33 damage. Okay. <laughs> you, then you, then you take 
the three the one strength damage, then you have to make a fortitude save equal to her AC to avoid being nauseated. Yep. Mm, fort save. DC twenty four. Okay, so you're nauseated. nauseated, and then you need to make a dex check, DC 20, or fall down. Yep, right on the mass. And, and, then and does he get a fort save against the stun? He gets a fort save against the stun. Uh, does nauseated also include the penalty from sickened? I don't believe so. You I don't think so. You can't cast attack, concentrate, or do anything else except you basically have a move action. That's <laughs> okay. all right. So, and you're not stunned. You're not stunned. <clears throat> this is him. What? What are you doing? <laughs> so, Crackle thrusts into this space, this invisible space, after activating his sash. She he stabs in. He pulls back, and he gets a mouth and face full of this blood. That is just interacting poorly with his physiology and his, with his, his sort of semi ethereal light form. Everybody. And it begins retching. Um, it's in your eyes, it's in your nose, it's in your mouth, and there's. Uh, oh, shit! <laughs> okay. Uh, Didi would have loved to have been able to cast Purging Finale, but apparently Nauseated is not on the list of conditions that this spell affects. <laughs> Let me just have a look at uh, Saving Finale. So, Nauseated. Uh, minus one strength. I think with a flourish, she's going to end her me, 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 because saving finale, I think, will give you another save against um, the nausea. The nauseated. The nauseated is bad. Uh, yeah, with a flourish, <laughs> she ends the bardic performance, and you're close enough to her. So, uh, yeah, you get another fourth save. Cool. Uh, now? Yeah. Yep. This is the immediate action. Oh, come on, Grackle! 27. <laughs> there we go. You're supposed to test the blood, not eat it! <laughs> hey, John, I understand what's going on. <laughs> you're still prone, but you're not nauseated. Cool. Fox is like, how does someone do this to themselves? <laughs> Forest roads, a little knot in the road. <laughs> a little knot in the road, you slip, you trip, you, you stabbing people for lots of damage. There's blood flying everywhere. It's basically anime <laughs> levels of blood came out of this one. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, now, Capra. Um, I think Capra. Let's just. Oh. Let's see if he's a fairy fire or a glitter dust kind of guy. Or is he just shoot things until they're dead kind of guy? <laughs> uh, he's going to glitter dust. And... Yeah, good boy, Capra. Uh... Good boy. Here you go. Uh, he's going to glitter dust here, but up in the sky a little bit, so that it, it actually, no, that won't get that dude. Uh... And our guys have shit little saves. We're just going to glitter dust to clip uh, Nolan and the uh, and the, the invisible one. The lady. Hmm. Uh, the lady. Uh, those two. We're going to miss that guy. Uh, they are going to make will saves. Uh, specifically, the lady will make a will save. She makes her save. And Father Nolan, if he wakes up. Father Nolan, if he wakes up. No, he he's unconscious. He fails. Oh, he, he's just it's in his eyes. It, yeah. he, <laughs> you know, like, That's awesome. He did not close his eyes. He's unconscious. Glitter dusting sleeping people. I got it. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Your, your tooth-faring little uh, sleeping people. All right. Uh, and then Capra is going to... Uh, Dede, look the other way! <laughs> He's going to shoot the one that would turn invisible, because that's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> uh, we're going to shoot her twice, because that's what that's what we do. Maybe uh, these are Oni. I don't know. Their auras are a little too small. Uh are you making fun of their auras? Yeah. I make fun of their auras. <laughs> yeah, this thing not right here. Yeah. Lady, your aura sucks. You hear that? Uh, AC 29 and critical threat. <laughs> <laughs> Look the other way, indeed. <laughs> uh, 
piercing. Effect is tired. Fatigue. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, so the many shot, because the way many shot works in the system is really strong. Uh, 2d8 plus... Uh, Eighteen. We don't have Bard Song. Twenty because a point blank. Uh, we, we don't have any buffs running, but that's not going to be a problem, I think. Uh, she she did. So fifty two damage. Is that both arrows? Uh, that was the first arrow. <laughs> um. So fifty two brings her. I thought that was the crit. <laughs> five. Uh, that knocks her out. Uh, we're gonna go incapacitated. And then the other guy's getting sh shot in the face with the remainder. Uh, three number or three D eight plus uh, twenty. It should be thirty plus ooh, eighteen plus three D six. Sixty seven damage. Uh, wounds him heavily, and he's going to make a fortitude save. Uh, he does not make the fortitude save. He is fatigued. Oh, no, the wrong one. What What did the Oni not like? Was it Cold Iron? Uh, the Oni... Uh... We knew that Fire stopped their... Yes. Okay. Um... You knew that fire would stop their their regeneration. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Uh, just just a quick comment. Anybody who's joining the stream right now would think that the good people are losing and the evil people are winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, context is key. I think context is important. <laughs> the Holy Father apparently is re regenerating his wounds. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> it's not really loading. Like, I'll get this guy. <laughs> uh, oops, sorry. They do not regenerate. The ones that Capra shot don't regenerate their wounds. They're just just down there. And he had fiery bow. He has a. F He's got a very elemental bow. He's got um, a flaming. Hold, hold Nolan's not going to be regenerating shit then, because I've got a oh. fiery pistol. I believe. Can you just check that? Yep, fiery pistol. Okay, uh, Didi, what would you have done on your turn? Because <laughs> the Nolan's head got blown off. Um, so you wouldn't have stabilized him. So you can take another standard action if you'd like. Uh, everyone's down? Uh, or this guy's still up? This guy's still up. So Kev's okay. bluff was he goes to him. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! She'll re up Bard Song and. Actually, it was Dugan is the one who dropped him. But... Yeah, she'll re up Bard Song and she's watching what, what's happening to his body. Okay. Oh shit, he's dead, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was at minus 20 something. <laughs> uh... Okay. Uh... <laughs> they are not regenerating because they. They've been taking damage of an element that prevents regeneration. They better not be people. <laughs> Wait, well, they're even if they're not, are the other things not. I don't know. Uh, they're. I don't know. You shot that guy's head off. <laughs> He's looking at me funny. <laughs> Tell another one. <laughs> you still look funny. What are you looking at? <laughs> Kent, what are you doing? I guess the rest uh, of us are slowly making our way up the road at this point. Hey, Kev's going to do the same thing to that guy. Boo! <laughs> shabba, shabba. Give me the cash! 4-3. Why can't I attack with that? You are flat-footed, sir. Uh, and then Kev's going to pull out a sword and go... Whoosh. Okay. Little Kev. Um, 17, 18. He's basically a pirate. He's going to be <laughs> sword at the other. Uh, yeah. He's a road pirate at this point. Uh, 25. I hit him. Yep. Four. He's 
flat footed, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's not that much damage. It's uh. He's not flat footed. He is flanked. Yeah, uh, he is flat footed because oh, I. Are you flat footed? Him. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Apologies. Yes, you did flat footed. Uh, what was my attack? Oh, it's not. That's not crit. Okay, I'll never get crit. <laughs> uh. The melee is not. Fucking plus eighteen, you asshole. Plus ten. Yeah. Uh, 29. 29? Okay. Uh, 80... 96. And let me just check to see these guys. Staterinos. They are... He falls down. It's not fiery, what I attacked with. Oh, wait. Uh, this blade is... he's It's wounding, but I guess that... This is the uh, the weird blade. Oh no no! I'm sorry. It is a fiery sword, is Tavilus. Okay, uh, he is wounded. He is heavily wounded, uh, but he is down. Medic. <laughs> hey, uh, Dugan, Dee, Dee, Crackle. What's happening in the old man's body? Oh, the old man's body. Uh, it looks like the old man is. Slowly growing hair. He's becoming very jaundiced. His eyes are starting to become a little bit more buggy than you would expect. Huh? Fucking cold it. I'm like pointing with his gun and the sword's like, huh? Huh? <laughs> Told you. Kev's nose, nose. Um, yeah, these, these guys are bleeding the shit, though. Yeah, you, you probably should get their. Um, let's not get them to wake up. Remember how that guy, you know, like teleported or whatever? Yeah, we don't want that. He's yeah, just gonna turn invisible bitch. and fly back. <laughs> Sod finds like a wound that's that's like still like closing. You put like a stick in it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll keep you injured. <laughs> I don't know if it works that way. Eh. Uh. Uh, oh, no, you're not killing him? Okay. I, I I don't know. I'm waiting. Uh, okay. Put them down. Take their heads. Uh, you want to find out what uh, they were doing? I could slip into their mind, wake them up, and then blow it off. They were out here to prey upon people fleeing. That's good. It was like, ah, yeah. my trick worked. <laughs> Very convenient for them to provide the proof we need that Oni have overrun the village. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sergeant! We uh, did it, Sergeant! We got them, Sergeant! And uh, they were they were actually the, the Oni Sergeant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they turned out to be an infestation. We're lucky. I told you, infested. We don't even know what the lady ones look like yet. Yeah, well, search them for magic or any intelligence or anything of value, and stick their bodies <laughs> in a heap under some grass or something, and we'll keep on going. Sounds good. Okay, they have very nice clubs. Oh, sorry, they have decent uh, um, axes. Uh, they have very nice bows, uh, both non-magical. Um, they have very good armor. Are you copying this? Or... I, I don't know if you're taking non-magical goods. Which which of the non-magical goods are you taking? They're Let's bows. fill the coffer of take this and uh, they're you know, bows. Empire. <laughs> they're, they're bows. If they have nice bows that are not magical, we'll take those. Okay, uh, so they've got uh, you have three plus one dwarvish war axes. Okay. Uh, three. I got it. Okay. And you have three masterwork composite longbow strength four. Uh, additionally, they have uh, a minor trinket each. Um, the random treasure roll is like number sign. How does the, the, the roller work, Marty? Um, number sign, give me the cash. Uh, there, there is a fifth level magic item. 
lesser. Okay, that's that's how it works. Okay. Um, and it points you to which chart to roll on. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, that's that's one fifth level magic item. Uh, Ahmed and Mark, you both do the same thing. Uh, okay. This. Oh, I just guessed it was fifth level. That was Is it five? <laughs> yep, five. Uh, wondrous shoulders. Okay. Uh, lesser minor. Uh, lesser minor. Me. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Right. My mark. To his proud son. A lesser minor, wondrous eyes. All right, so we need a lesser minor chest. Uh, a chest. Lesser minor. S sound like they all robbed the same guy and just split the treasure. Belt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, body. Chest. Okay. Uh, percentile. Uh, this would be Marty's percentile, but it doesn't matter who, who rolls it. There's some good stuff in this list. Eighty-three, eighty-three, and seventy-four. Okay, there's a magic vestment with bulging pockets filled with tools. It is definitely of a dwarvish construction. A all tools vest. Uh, what was yeah, that's cool? One? Um, eighty-three. Mark. Yeah, you just take take the ones that Marty threw in. Yeah. Another one's eighty-three. Eighty-three is the next one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh this was on the um the lady um a thick leather cloak that is charred and black and around the edges it smells fairly sooty um it's called a cloak of fiery vanishing hmm uh, it was definitely a rogue uh, a rogue whoever they robbed <laughs> They didn't identify uh, it yet, because I think this one allows her to disappear in an illusion of fire when she dies. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, when she gets hit or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah you like, basically, uh, you, can, you can poof away into, yeah, it's it's a, it's a nifty little item. All right, and then it was Lefter Minor Eyes. Um, Did you just put her outside? Oh my god, Mark, she's soaking wet. She chose to go out there. I mean, she likes it. <laughs> uh, I've got two dogs. One of them is like, it's raining. It's time to go sit out in the rain. The other one is like, it's raining. I refuse to go outside. I, I will go out on the deck and pee on the deck. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, that last percentile was what? 74. 74. Uh, these were on the priest. Um, these goggles, um, are, uh, the spectacles of understanding, uh, which we'll have to identify later. Uh, they are innocent looking glasses that do match sort of, again, they're of a, of a, a slightly dwarvish craft. They're like, uh, like a sort of a mundane brass construction. Okay. Looks like they robbed a rogue or somebody who, like a, like a craftsman. All right, okay. we, we put that stuff in the bag, uh, pack it away along with the dwarvish war axes and the um, and their bows, and cut off their heads. Stick those in a bag. Let Mort carry the bag of heads. Stick their bodies in the wilderness, and we move on. Okay, <clears throat> keep on trucking. Nah, 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 the corpse carrier. <laughs> oh, uh, did Chaga send do the sending or? No, not yet. He needs it's the rest. same. It's the same day as we got. Oh shit! Got... Oh. Hey. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, so you do uh, the, then make your your bust your ass running along the road, or hustling along the road. Um, how far do you go into the evening? I think we're gonna forest march. Okay. 
Uh, channel a couple of times. We'll just keep going. Let me Could count. You... Let me count the channels that we have left. Give me a second. Uh, Chaga's got. He didn't use a lot. He's got seven left, and Didi's got two. Okay. Could we? Could you load up the other map so that we can just do some uh, the overland map? Certainly. File save. Open. Fire open. Volcanica. All right, we'll map the Volcanica. So where we could use Chaga's carriage before Chaga <laughs> lost said carriage. So let's let's grab a cha let's grab a Duckin token. Duckin will be our marker. <laughs> Duckin. Duckin is our representative. <laughs> uh, Mascot. Where are we on the... Uh, all right. So you are effectively... Um, heading through so, yeah. Mangrove, basically. You're basically heading, th heading through to Mangrove uh, on the way to Fort Servius. Uh, it is about two full days travel. 60... Uh... 60 miles, so this is 35, no, like 40. That, that's 100. Like it's, it's almost 100 miles. No, 60 and then a little bit. So I'd say about 80 oh, miles fort. away. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's it's two long days of travel. It was three days to get there. I think we're going to force march and use magical powers to... Uh... You are you are without rest making your way to Fort Sturgis. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um Give me a uh, one fortitude save, or I'm sorry, one constitution check for force marching, just to represent how well you, as individuals, handle the stress that you're putting yourselves under. Um, don't forget your endurance speed if you have an endurance speed. That's a plus four, right? Yep. Mm, Garako's gonna ride his broom. Fuck walking. <laughs> okay, you still you still need to concentrate. You still have to. Seventeen. Mm. Okay. Cab, don't fuck me up now. Uh, if Kev is marching, he's gonna use an identity that gives him. Oh, right, human here. Shit. DD gets a ten. You sit on someone's shoulder. I think after a while she's gonna. The the two fey can pretty much just hide on Mort. Chaga has got mule back cords, so he can actually carry quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. And then we've got an undead that doesn't get tired. So I think between Chaga's back and the undead creature, also Mort, but she thinks Mort's gross. So uh, yep, um... you didn't get to work back there. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, and then Chaga with endurance. Nice. Sulfur has no issues. Not twenty. Yeah. Twenty-six from Chaga. He's got lots of stored energy. <laughs> He's got lots to burn. Uh, all right. Uh, so you you push your way through two nights. Uh, it ends up being Capra is the one who ends up lagging behind. This is after Dee Dee and uh, Dugan both caught rides. Apparently. They are not built for this. They do not. They're no. dangerous short bursts, is the, <laughs> uh, as they they have much more difficulties. Capra finds himself quite exhausted by the end of the travel. Um, he he does refuse to give up, but he is obviously struggling more than the rest. Capra, jump on my back. Remember the time I owed you almost a hundred gold? I'll pay you back. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Uh, 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 he he rejects it on the first night. On the second day, he's he's he, by the third day he's he's accepting a shoulder or, or or help. What's nice about the divine casters is that they don't need rest to get their spells back, so they they can, they can continue to. They need an hour to pray. That's it. Prov yeah, we we get we take an hour breather and then we continue on to Fort Servius. Um, how's yep. Errol? How's Errol doing? Oh shit! I forgot Errol. Hey, Errol. <laughs> Errol. Uh, Errol 
is not doing well, but he's doing better than Capra. Um, sorry, I'm getting a. Is the channel working for you guys? I'm rebooting it now, actually. Yeah, it's, the channel doesn't seem like it's. Uh... Okay, I'm going to restart the channel. It's been, yeah, right it, it, it's, it's been flaky all night. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm still recording, though, please. Nice. Like, it wasn't all the East Coast, like, knocked out of... Oh, yeah, look at that jitter with Seattle server. Uh, okay, 